Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Please like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Lock in your copy of the Currency Exchange Planner, the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the dinar community. Starting today mention the denarian and get the mobile app added onto the planner package for free in addition to the extra 20% off. Start the new year off right. Invest in yourself and your family's well-being today. I recently did a video on the new Carrot Bar Savings Program. If you have not seen it yet, go check it out. Now is the time to get involved so I can help you to help yourself. It's free to register and you will be ahead of everyone else. Get yourself set up today and be a part of my savings team of tomorrow. The Carrot Bar Program is the true future of money. It is a gold savings program that takes the blockchain technology to the next level. It is literally a savings program based on gold and you can be a part of the technology as it advances forward. You have the opportunity of a lifetime to get in on the ground floor of this program with me. Do yourself a favor and start backing your hard-earned cash with gold. The link to the Carrot Bar program is in the description drop down below. I encourage you, stay ahead of the rest. Take the initiative and join me today on the blockchain-based Carrot Bar program and let me help you to start off the year right. First article of interest for today. Al Sadr reactivates the Mahdi army in response to the assassination of Soleimani, and Al Amri succeeds the engineer in leading the crowd. The leader of the Sadrist movement, Muqtada Al Sadr reactivated the so-called Mahdi Army and promised today brigade in response to the assassination of the commander of the Quds Force and the commander of the Popular Mobilization Forces, Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis. Al-Sadr said that he gave his orders to activate the Mahdi Army whose mission was to establish the American presence in Iraq in response to the American aggression. The popular crowd decided to choose Hadi al-Amiri. Secretary General of the Badr Organization, as Deputy Chief and Chief of Staff. Meanwhile, in response to the statements of Iraqi officials regarding the refusal of the American presence in Iraq, Mike Pompeo, the U.S. Secretary of State, said that the statements of Iraqi leaders in public differ from what is going on in secret. Next article of interest. Iraqi official. Soleimani was planning to meet five people one of whom would take over as Prime Minister. Today, Friday, a senior official revealed new information related to the main reason behind the killing of Qasem Soleimani by the United States, adding that the commander of the Iranian Quds Force came to Iraq for two purposes. The first goal of Soleimani's visit to Iraq comes to complete the scheme to storm the U.S. Embassy in the Green Zone, central Baghdad. After the failure of the first attempt that took place last Tuesday, the official said in a statement to Al Hurra Channel, followed by Alec Beria. The Iraqi official, who requested not to be named, added that Soleimani arrived Thursday evening in Baghdad and was planning to supervise the storming operation on Friday evening. Soleimani was upset with the resigned Iraqi Prime Minister, Adel Abdul Mahdi because he asked the PMF elements to withdraw from the American embassy in Baghdad on Thursday, the senior official said. He emphasized that the commander of the Iranian Quds Force, Qasem Soleimani, was planning to reintroduce elements of the Iraqi militias loyal to Tehran once again to the Green Zone to implement the storming and control of the American embassy. In addition to the plot to storm the U.S. embassy in Baghdad, Soleimani was also planning to press for the imposition of a candidate close to Tehran to take over as prime minister, the senior Iraqi official said. He said, Soleimani was planning to interview five candidates, all of whom are former Minister of Communications Mohammad Tafiq Alawi, former commander of the counterterrorism agency Abdul Ghani al-Assadi and current intelligence director Mustafa Al-Kazemi. He continued. The other two names are each of the Iraqi businessmen residing in Jordan, Majad al Saudi and retired Judge Mohammed al Awabi. He emphasized that the plan requires that the construction block led by Hadi al Amiri present these names to President of the Republic Baram Sali on Friday, with the choice being decided on Saturday and then assigning the new candidate next week after the Iraqi army holiday, which falls on Monday. 
Next article of interest. Parliament holds an extraordinary session on Sunday to discuss the American aggression on Iraq. On Friday, the presidency of the House of Representatives announced that it has set a date for an extraordinary meeting next Sunday to discuss the American aggression against Iraqi sovereignty. The special session devoted to discussing the American aggression against Iraqi sovereignty will be held on Sunday, 5 January 2020 at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, the media department of the House of Representatives said in a brief statement received information. Next article of interest. Economist, Iraq will not be hurt oily due to the American escalation. The economic expert, Kusai Safwan, confirmed on Friday that Iraq would not be affected by oil due to the American escalation, as there are good relations with other countries and agreements to determine the selling price of a barrel of oil between $60 to $70 a barrel during the current year. Safwan said in a statement to the information that Iraq has its oil exports, its relations and its links with the countries of the Axis of Iran and many other countries consuming Iraqi oil, and therefore its export will not be affected by the American escalation. He added that Iraq even if it was placed in the seventh item, its oil file will not be damaged, while the damage will be only in the currency as it is possible for the Iraqi currency to record a decline against the dollar. And that, the continued escalation between the two sides will harm Iraq's currency against the dollar, because Washington has control over the financial file and control the value of the dollar, but understandings may take place between the two governments for common non-escalation. Next article of interest. al Fatah. The Constitution does not allow the president to reject the candidate of the largest bloc. On Friday, the deputy of the al Fath Alliance, Mohammed Karim, affirmed that the Constitution does not include an article authorizing the president to reject the candidate of the largest parliamentary bloc in parliament. In the government, Karim said in a statement to information that the president of the republic bears the responsibility for delaying the appointment of the new prime minister, and Baran Saleh is supposed to implement the Constitution as his first protector in accordance with Article 67 which affirms that the President of the Republic preserves the Constitution and applies its provisions and provisions. He added that the President of the Republic should assign the candidate to the largest bloc, regardless of whether the personality is acceptable or not, as the Constitution stipulates that, and there is no article in the Constitution stating that the President of the Republic rejects the candidate of the largest bloc and that, the building alliance and for the sake of bloodshed in preserving the country, it will return the names presented with the other blocks, up to a name that is acceptable to all to assume the position of Prime Minister instead of the resigned Adel Abdul Mahdi. Next article of interest. Sadiqin. The situation in Iraq needs to government programs. On Friday, the deputy of the Sadiqun parliamentary bloc, Mohammed al-Baldawi, said that the current situation in Iraq needs to government programs, one of which is immediate and the other is strategic, pointing out that Iraq needs quick reforms showing its social, service and political impact. Al-Baldawi said in a statement to Alma Aluma that the government program for Adel Abdul Mahdi needed to vote in some of its paragraphs and clauses. He added that the current stage needs to programs one of which is implemented simultaneously as rapid reforms whose effect on the social, service, cultural, health and political realities within the country appears. He explained that the other side of the government program relates to strategic plans and development projects in which Iraq can return economically, politically and securely to the place that Iraq is supposed to occupy because of its capabilities and wealth and that the government program must include the distribution of lands, the provision of services, the end of unemployment and the solution to the housing problem, as there must be serious and rapid steps with these files. Next article of interest. Ethel Nujafi, Soleimani and the engineer are the martyrs of the Iranian revolution, not the martyrs of the Iraqi issue. Iraqi politician Ethel Nujafi said today, Friday, that General Qasem Soleimani and Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis are the martyrs of the Iranian revolution and not the martyrs of the Iraqi cause. Al-Najafi said in a tweet on his personal page on Twitter, 
followed by Alakbaria, that Soleimani and the engineer are the martyrs of the Iranian revolution, and they are not the martyrs of an Iraqi issue. The Iraqi politician noted that their killing will be more effective than the killing of bin Laden and al-Baghdadi. Today, Jamal al-Karbuli, the head of the Solution Party, stressed that the Iraqis should bear the responsibility of their country and their loyalty to Iraq alone, while the deputy, Fake Sheikh Ali, called on the militias not to be emotional and show their muscles to the Iraqis. Next article of interest. Pompeo. Washington, committed to reducing escalation, after Soleimani's death. On Friday, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo confirmed Washington's commitment to reduce the escalation after the killing of Quds Force Commander Qasem Soleimani with an American bombing in Baghdad. Pompeo said, according to Reuters, I discussed with the British Foreign Secretary the decision to take defensive action to liquidate Qasem Soleimani. Hit the like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to find me on Facebook, so you get the news in real time as it breaks literally. Harness the power of the currency exchange planner today. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN for the additional pre-negotiated discount and the free mobile app for my subscribers. Get on board the blockchain gold savings carrot bar program today. You don't have to wait until you're filthy rich to get involved, it's free, and the program was made so anyone can save in gold, one of the true forms of money away from the fiat system. Protect your family's wealth today. I would not steer you in the wrong direction. Think about it, I would be shooting myself in the foot. I would not recommend something I do not stand behind 110%. Did you ever hear the term? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. The links are in the description below. Get involved now. Knowledge is power. Over and out for now. The Denarian.